Currently, The Witcher is Netflix's highest ranked original series on IMDb. That means that it's outranking Stranger Things and Peaky Blinders, which is quite an achievement considering it's only one series and I'm seeing a lot of bad reviews online. So, I'm going to give you my opinion on it. That's all it is. I'm not going to give you a synopsis. I think a lot of reviews just tell you what happened. I assume you've watched the show. Well, normally I do, but thanks to Entertainment Weekly, I'm not even sure if reviewers are watching the show completely anymore. I've never played The Witcher, and I've never read the book. So for me, this was the great way to get involved in the storyline. Um, just quick, easy content for me to take in. However, because they chose to make it chronologically disorientated, don't know if that's the term, but we're going to use it, because it wasn't in order, it was very confusing at times and that's not because the story wasn't there i think it's the way they put across some of that information i think the key part on that forgive me if i'm wrong and i miss something but we spent an entire episode that led to us learning about the law of surprise but it didn't really explain it properly and then in the following episode the little girl asks so what is the law of surprise so we only find out about what the entire episode was about afterwards and i understand like you know sometimes that works in a good way but i think in this situation we would have been more on board if it had been explained from the get-go and i think they do this a lot the way they put across the information is just a bit until you get to the last episode you suddenly go oh this is how it all falls into place which is fine and you can do that but i think if you look at something like westworld that's a bit of a better example of how you still get enough information across for people not to get lost and when you're doing something that yes is an adaptation and it's going to be mainly for the fans you have to do it in a way that's going to bring on board new people however I didn't think this was enough to put me off the show. I still really like the show and my investment in the show was Henry Cavill which funny enough I have a problem with Henry Cavill at the moment. I feel like he is a great actor and I feel he has the ability to be a great actor. I personally think he would be the perfect choice for James Bond but they don't seem to want to do that. Maybe it's because he's got too big. It's almost like people cast him in characters where you're just going to be big and broody and I want to see a little bit more from him. I understand that the character of Geralt is quite reserved and stuff but I think that in general they're just not directing Henry Cavill perfectly he pulls off all of the stunts and all of the physicality perfectly he displays emotion perfectly but a lot of the time he seems really wooden and that's across not just this but also Superman like I don't know how he was such a wooden Superman again I feel that's directing choices and then when he was in Mission Impossible he's just a sort of faceless goon yet again another wooden goon so I'm really hoping that in the next series we get to see more of his acting ability because he was a big driving part of the show, obviously. And if you don't think that he has the ability to not be flat, just look at him reading The Witcher compared to him acting as The Witcher. Throw that sword down or I'll smash your head in. The Rivian straightened. He quickly pinned his blade under his left arm and with his right hand raised towards the guard, swiftly drew a complicated sign in the air. The clout nails which studded his tunic from wrists to elbow. Flashed. There's like a massive difference there. Do you see what I'm saying? I think some of the things that don't work perfectly are just you have to work with these TV shows sometimes. Some of the stuff looked clearly green screen and CGI, but I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. Some of the stuff looked very, oh, we're just going to mask this in darkness so you can't really see how bad the effects are at times. I understand that when you're working to such a high turnaround pressure that you can't always get things perfect. And I think people in this day and age are so quick to use their voice and talk down on things that they don't actually look at things as a bigger picture. This is an eight episode series that you can go watch and have a lot of fun. I can't tell you it's that accurate to the source material, but what I can tell you is if you like the fantasy genre, then I really enjoyed it. Look. I love sword fights, they done really well with the sword fights. I love dragons and all the fantasy kind of material, they done all of that stuff really well. I think it was a great world that they started to build, I feel we had some really interesting characters we're going to get to see more of. I think they laid the scenes for the second season perfectly and what I'm hoping for, I don't know because I don't know the material, but what I'm hoping for is that we are going to see Gerald express more emotions as he has to learn how to look after another life and move forward in this clearly war-torn era. I think Yennefer's 
Story development was really good. I think it's funny because at the start of it, I really thought she was going to be quite villainous, but you understand that it's more she's in a villainous situation. The mages aren't always correct in the way they operate and the way that they think and the way they treat people. And I think her coming full circle and her blood, there's definitely something with that little quarter elven in her and the fact that she can absorb chaos itself and push it outwards that's something they only touched on in the last episode really so we're gonna see some really cool things come out there's obviously a lot of people out there with these magic powers that we haven't touched on and i think something that i really want to understand is in fact Geralt's magic because he keeps doing these little things and I want to know a bit more about it. I'm hoping that the second season really pushes us into more of his training and how he became a Witcher. I personally would have liked a longer first series because it feels like they've set the table perfectly for the second season. I feel like a lot of people that were complaining about there not being that much story and even seeing the director and stuff saying don't worry it's going to be more story focused i think no it wasn't about the modern story it was about getting the past and us understanding these characters so we can move forward and i think it's done a good enough job with that i'm really excited for the second season i would have loved more i don't really have too much theories i'm not a theories kind of guy i'm an opinion based guy and this is what i said at the start i am sick and tired of reviews out there being just and then this happened and then this happened and then this happened like that doesn't create that much of a conversation i've just told you what i feel about the series i am having such a great response with comments please let me know what you think and feel about it and we can continue this conversation and i can just do another short video maybe a week down the line looking at some of your reviews on it how about that have a good day enjoy yourselves it's Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate tomorrow for me and this should be going out today so yeah enjoy that Look after each other. Peace. What else did I love? I love the bard. Like, can we get more of the bard? Can we get a music video for the song, please? Can we please get a music video for the song?